Hey everyone, what's going on? So after the revolutionary change in the UI of Android 12, we have received an update of Android 13 with slight better design and even more colors. So in this video, I'll show you how you can get the look and feel of Android 13 on your device. Now this is a simple home screen setup so you do not require any root access or install any custom ROMs or GSIs. Now if you already subscribed to the channel, you'd know that I've already shared a setup of Android 12. But this is a completely different setup, it offers a lot more features than that setup. So to get started with the setup, the first thing you have to do is go to the link in the description and download all the materials required for this setup. Now this setup offers a lock screen, a home screen with 8 wallpapers and 4 wallpaper based colors and 4 basic colors. And it also offers 3 widgets that you can totally customize. So you can select from any of the 4 available styles of the clock. You can change the size of the clock or you can also disable the widgets as well. So you can also move the widgets uh, on the screen by tapping on the left side, right side, up and down of the widget. And you can customize the wallpaper from the wallpaper and style settings and you can also apply the colors from here as well. This setup also offers a dark theme and themed icons as well. Now to get started with the setup, make sure that you download all the required materials. When you have installed everything, go ahead and open the Nova Launcher. So to set up the Nova Launcher, I've already shared a backup file that you can simply apply by going to the backup and restore settings. And if you face any issue while applying the backup file, you can manually set up the launcher by going to the home screen settings and then disabling the dock from here. And then you want to disable the search bar placement and set it to none with the page indicator to none as well. And then you can also go ahead in the look and feel setting and disable the notification bar as well. And that's it, you are done with the launcher setup. Now go ahead and open this Android 13 application. Now this is my first application that I've uploaded on Play Store. So from now on I'll be uploading all my setup in Play Store so you can simply download it from there. So to get started with this setup you can tap on the widgets page. From here you will see the setups. And this application does not provide any wallpapers so you'll see just a loading page in the wallpapers. So as you can see there are two setups here but both setups are actually the same thing. The only difference is the timer on the status bar. So if you have a phone that has a punch hole camera in the middle or a notch you can apply the first wallpaper that has the time slightly on the left hand side. Or if you have a phone that has a camera on the left hand side like a punch hole camera like this you can apply the second wallpaper. So whatever wallpaper you want to apply just tap on it and it will automatically load in KLWP application. Now make sure that you allow all the permissions required in this application to make it work properly. Once you are done, all you have to do is just change some settings in the application so you can just tap on each of the icons and select your preferred application as the app icons may not work on some devices because of different package names. And then from the global settings you can customize the setup as per your wish. So you can change the wallpapers as there are 8 wallpapers you can select any wallpaper. I've also shared a folder of the Google wallpapers, Google Pixel wallpapers that you can apply. And you can also customize the basic colors as well. There are 4 basic colors and you can totally customize them as per your wish. You can just tap on the color and then select any color that you like. And the last thing you can customize is your profile picture that will show up in the notification bar. So that's it. Once you have done the required changes, all you have to do is tap on the save button and then set it up as your home screen wallpaper. And that's it. Now you have Android 13 on your phone. So that's it for today's video. If you find this video helpful or if you like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit a like. I'll see you in my next video.